What's up everybody? Jacob here with Smetting Performance. Today we're working on a really cool, pretty unique engine that we decided to build kind of just for fun. And now that we're building it, we're all kind of jealous and wishing, it, wishing that this was our motor. So right here we have the base of our 540 big block Chevy. And what makes this big block Chevy special compared to other big blocks is we have a one piece rear main seal back there. This uses GM's Gen 6 engine block that we then stuffed with our 4340 forged crankshaft. It has a 4.25 stroke from top dead center to bottom dead center. Then it has our Smetting H-beam power adder connecting rods with really good rod bolts topped off with a set of Icon forged pistons. So fully forged rotating assembly, Gen 6 engine block, and now we need to put the top end on it. To open the valves, we have one of our Smetting camshafts. This cam is 253, 263 duration at 50. And the cylinder heads we're gonna run are our Smetting 360cc rectangle port head. So you can kinda see here. So we'll get these all assembled, set the valve spring installed heights. They run a manly dual spring and a 2.3 inch intake with a 1.88 exhaust. 2.3 inches. Most small blocks are 202, your LS3 head is a 2165. That's 2.3 because again, we're feeding 540 cubic inches of air. On top of these heads, we're gonna put a single plane intake on it. And we're hoping that this engine should easily be able to make over 700 horsepower with a hydraulic roller camshaft and 10 to one pump gas pistons. Making this, again, a do it all street motor. That's kind of what we specialize in here are just super powerful do it all street combos. So. Shay, our engine builder, is going to take it from here. He's going to set this whole engine up, get the cylinder heads assembled, and then once he's done, we're going to jump straight onto the dyno. you know what you're doing with this thing? I've only done it a couple of times. Okay. Well, it's better than only doing it one time. Yeah. At least we got that going for us. 
So Shay and I actually have been friends for probably what the last, we've known each other for the last five, seven years? About seven years ago, we met and we've been good friends since. We met in College Station going to A&M and then we both went to the tech school in Houston and uh, learned some more about modern engines and whatnot. And then he joined us at Smetting Performance, I think two, was, already two months? Yeah, about two months ago. And so now he's doing all of our premium engine assembly, like this 700 horse big block Chevy. And yeah, coming along nicely. So we've got the cylinder heads on, we're running our Gatorman link bar lifters, hydraulic roller of course. So he's coming through and setting the preload on the full valve train with these nice pretty Scorpion billet rocker arms. So after he does the valve train, we'll put an intake manifold on it and then we'll get the jump in the diner room. While he's finishing up that, I'm currently working on honing. So we got some small block Ford dart blocks in. So I'm roughing these and then we're gonna final them. I'm also working on a 406 small block Chevy. And then right here we have six 632 cubic inch engine blocks for our 632 BMF. So once I finish the Fords and that 406 Chevrolet, I'm gonna get to work on these bad units. finished up the 540 build. Um, this is our basic 540 short block that anybody who would call wanting a 540, this is what uh, like our standard package would be. It's all good stuff, forged rod, forged crank, forged piston. Um, this one's got a little bit of an upgrade in the camshaft uh, cylinder head department. Um, so it should pump out a few extra ponies for us. We were going to attempt to put an EFI system on this, but not unlike every other place in the industry, we didn't have one in stock. So, so uh, we're going to kick it old school and put a carburetor on it. So this is getting an 850 carburetor. Will's getting us set up for the dyno here. Uh, just last finishing touches, spark plugs, uh, bolt and carburetor on, putting the distributor in, things like that. Uh, we'll show him putting this 
package on our dyno cart and uh, then we'll take you into the dyno room. So we got our 700 horsepower 540 on the dyno. It's all hooked up and we're just about to start it. First thing that Will is going to do is set the base timing in the distributor and set the idle fuel curve on the carburetor. And then once he has the engine completely warmed up and at operating temperature, we'll then confirm total timing. We'll make a couple hits, let the motor break in. And usually after about the third or fourth run, the motor's fully broke in and making the power it's going to make. Okay, so the 540 big block Chevy is on the engine dyno and running. We're gonna run 32 degrees total, which with our cylinder head and this compression ratio, always gives us the best torque and average numbers safely. So, as you can see here, we have awesome idle oil pressure. Fuel pressure is perfect, coolant temp's ready. Idle air fuels are good. Everything's ready to go, so we're gonna make our first pool. We're gonna go from 2800 to 5800. Okay, so that thing made way more power than we were expecting. It's already made more horsepower than a Hellcat. And uh, go ahead and minimize the screen wheel. Yeah, torque curve looks awesome. So oil pressure is freaking phenomenal. It's climbing up to about 90 pounds. Now the oil still isn't at probably full temperature, um, but at the very end of that pull, the dyno let go of the motor. So we're gonna look at how hot the dyno got. Yeah, so this right here is how hot the water is inside the dyno itself. Not the engine, but the dyno. And you can see we approached about 160, which is kind of the limit. So we're gonna adjust the dyno valves to give the engine, I'm sorry, to give the dyno more water flow so it can control this engine a little better. We weren't expecting it to make this much power, so we set the valve a little conservative. So Will's already got that bumped up a number, and now let's make our second hit with no changes. Go ahead and pull it to 6,000. Yeah, it was so clean that last run. But first pull already made over 700 horsepower, so that's the number we were looking for. Perfect. And you can see our dyno got to about 140. That's a lot nicer. And let's see how that curve looks. So yeah, oil pressure is still awesome. Currently it's made 715. It's still climbing a little bit. So let's go ahead and pull it to 6200, Will. This is kind of it. The engine is gonna keep making more power by itself as the piston rings break in. And after Will's done typing, I can show you guys that. So if we look here, let me go ahead and overlay the runs. So the red curve is the second pull we did and the blue curve is that first run. We made no changes to the fueling or the timing and you can see it made a whole lot more power right here in the meat of the power curve. And that's just the piston rings breaking in, the bearings setting up, everything getting nice and loose inside the motor where it's supposed to be. So we'll make another three hits on the package and then we'll come back and see how much power we're making. Spend it.
So super clean run to 6200. We've now made 734. Go ahead and pull it to 6400. We should start to see the limit of this valve train at this much RPM because it is a hydraulic roller engine. So we'll see if the valves shatter just a little bit and if they do, we'll back it back down to 6200. Right at the end of the pull, we hit a little bit of valve chatter, and that's pretty normal. Again, this is a hydraulic roller engine. So we'll back it down to 6200. Make one more final hit, and we'll see how much power it's making. Okay, so back down to 714. Motor's getting a little hot. We have just smacked it five times, back to back to back to back. But that still gives us an awesome power curve of 732 horse and 674 foot-pounds. And the whole time from basically 3200 RPM, we're over 600 foot-pounds of torque with a little 540. And again, our oil pressure is solid, 70s, 80s, hitting the pressure relief valve. And this motor is currently making an average torque of 621 pounds across the entire curve. That's outstanding. So there you guys go. This is a quick little 540 we just whipped up. We basically had the parts laying around so we thought why not. So we're going to do a final inspection on the motor before it comes off the dyno. Make sure it has no oil leaks and make sure everything is just 100% and perfect because this engine will have a 3 year unlimited mile warranty. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.